dead wind here. Our little pontoon stabilizer is working pretty good. You can see there. Got Fat Brittany in here and we haven't tipped over yet. The new outrigger works great. It really stabilized the tippiness of this canoe. I'll probably add an outrigger float to the starboard side for even more stability. Best of all, the whole thing cost under $15 to make and the tunes are filled with expanding foam for positive flotation. Hey, are you super? <laughs> Well, you probably don't need a super dog to make the cool pontoon outrigger, but it sure doesn't hurt, does it, Britt? <laughs> That's right. Some states, you know, that if you have a dog with you, you can have extra fishing poles. Well, you know, like you can only have two fishing poles for you, but if you bring your dog, you can have two fishing poles for your dog. Oh, I'm just kidding. And I didn't <laughs> That's what you need here. You want to make that a cool pontoon? You need one 45, a T, two bell pieces. That's the end piece from the pipe there. This is, and we're going to stress this, this is not PVC. This is polyethylene pipe. PVC is too brittle and it will break. You're going to need some expanding foam couple of old pop uh, two liter bottles, some sheet metal screws, something to drive it with. You can use a hacksaw or an old hand saw. My preference is the mighty sawzall. Huh? Not that interesting is it Britt? Huh? Okay so we're gonna put this together, get it painted, and then there you go. And you want to take a little pipe cement, just dab it all around on the inside there. Get a nice good seal on it. All right. All right, now comes the fun part. You can fill it with foam. Stuff's really going to expand in there. Don't overfill it first time. You want to go probably right away to fill these uh, soda bottles. Once again, that stuff's going to expand. You don't want to overfill it. You watch it, it'll grow. <laughs> really harden these things up, too. Okay. All the ends I put the uh, glue on, inside and out. And there, give it a little twist. And fill this too a little bit. Give it a little extra flotation, huh? Top this off. Top this one off. As you can see, it's starting to expand. And I'll put the lid on there. This is really going to firm it up. This thing will be rock solid. OK, 
Okay, so here we got the new pontoon that we made there last night and painted. It's mostly dry, I think. Got a little runoff there, but should be fine. We're going to go ahead and attach it to the other piece there that we already had made previously. And I'm going to screw it together with sheet metal screws. And we're going to glue it too, of course. Okay, we got it all put together. See, we got some sheet metal screws put in it. And uh, these are the grooves that I cut into the pipe. What that does, it fits on the gunnels here on the side. And I put a little eye bolt, one on each side there. And I lash it to the center bar. And then tie it down real good to these new eye bolts here. Here's how you cut the grooves for it to fit down on the side of your gunnels nice and tight. Cut this center pipe so it sticks out about 8 inches on each side of your canoe. Then major with a pencil and cut the pieces as shown. Only cut down about an inch there on each side. Now we're going to cut through the center of this thing and leave a nice soft pad for it to rest on. Another good item to have. Hey, how about a bucket with a towel, huh? Makes a nice seat. Nice wipe rag. Alright, let's put this thing together and get a look at it. Okay, there you go. It's on there. Doesn't look so bad. Mm -hmm. It's all lashed there real tight. Firm. Goes into the eye bolt. Alright, let's see how it's lashed on there. Got some rope. What I do, maybe you got a better idea. Tie it, lash it. If you do, hey, let us know. Just come up through there like that. Come down and around there. Come here like that. Pull that tight. And, uh, come back through the eye bolt there again. Underneath. Come on. There you go. There. And I just tie it. There. And believe it or not, that thing is pretty secure. Lash down, it's ready to go. So there you have it. Go on out there and make one for yourself. 20 bucks. Don't look bad. Probably get some compliments of, hey, you're the best looking in the fleet. <laughs>